So after you've built out the initial dashboard, uh, let me it's pretty simple structure for building out the bubble charts from there. So what you want to do is go insert Power View. You should have added this to your ribbon earlier, this Power View feature. Okay, and it's going to build this new Power View tab for you. Okay, I'll just rename this Bubble Charts. And I'm also going to delete these other tabs just to... Uh, Save space. I don't need all of these, so I'll just have the bubble charts. Click this, and then this will open up all my fields and all my measures. It's not organized in the nice way that the other one was, where you had the measures on one side and the fields on the other. Here you can see all the measures are though marked with the little calculator option. And let's just add in one of our measures of interest. So revision count. We just added that one in. And let's change this from a table to a matrix. And let's add in our hierarchy or levels. And you also have to, the hierarchy structure is still there, but you have to add in each one independently. So I'm going to add in down to, I was having a little bit of trouble loading the fund code down to the fund code level with a bubble plot. So I'm just going to go to budget title for this example. Sometimes it'll take a few, um, it'll take a few tries to get the table set up initially. It can just take a little bit of time. And right, so I just added in each of these fields and you've got the hierarchical structure. I'm going to change this from showing the levels to make it the drill down. So this is that functionality we showed before where you can drill up or down within a level. So we click there and now if we want to drill down within Health and Human Services, we can and etc. So there's that functionality is still intact. So right now we just have a matrix table in place. Let's change this though to, there's a lot of visualizations you can do. We're just going to do a bubble plot as we said before. So let's change it to a scatter plot is what we're going to do initially. Okay. And this gives us our, this is actually going to give us all of our optional fields. You can see you can have an X axis, a Y value, a measure for your size, color, and a play axis. So that's actually set up right now. You can put any measure you want in each of these. So say we want to have expenditures minus receipts on one. We want to have FTN another. Um, say we want to have fund counts as another. That's size now. And right now we have this actually all set up. This is our bubble plot is in is built out essentially at this point. The one thing is to make the animation. We want to put a play chart. So we want to put a play chart there. Okay, so let's do that. Let's put in a play chart. That will be just anything that's date. So let's do effective date year. That's a good thing to put on the play chart. So let's drag that over to our play axis. And now we have our a bubble chart built out with any measures we want. And again to so let's, we just, I just did random measures here, but you can choose whichever ones you want. You can use the ones from our presentation if you're interested in going and exploring those or any ones you're interested in. To get the trace feature set up, you just click on it and it'll follow the trace. And you can see then as that follows, you'll see, you'll trace a specific item. Or if you want to trace more than one of the bubbles, you can just hold control as you click. So hold control on another item. And let me, I missed, clicked it keep missing here. Hold that. Uh, let's change the measure so you can see something else. So it's a little easier to click. Let's do, see this makes it easier to click them out. Okay. So now both of these have tails on them. Both the transportation and general government are being tracked. You can see transportation staying still with whatever these random measures I set up are. And if you want to click into a specific level to see movement within that, you can. So now we're seeing movement within this particular level. Um, and these axes, the values for them are going to change relative to whatever you set. And you can change your play axis to be by years, by quarters, by months, by overall date, whatever you want. Let's drag this by month now. OK. And then you can see the side these different whatever measures you said this this graph's pretty nonsensical because I didn't take time to think of what measures I wanted to put on my axes but you can just choose any of the measures we built out 
or any of the fields that we curated and put those in where you are interested.